Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, remember, if you're enjoying this content, if you could like, share, and subscribe uh, the, the show, it helps us get exposure. And um, it's, it's good stuff. We believe we're trying to help people uh, grow their business, grow their profits. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Also, if you're interested in um, growing your business, check out LOS. Uh, you can scan the QR code here on the page uh, or check it in the notes. LOS is a landscape operating system that helps you implement processes in your business so that you can grow. Um, they have a peer group feature, which is pretty neat. So if you check them out, um, that would be great. Uh, today, I'm here with um, the three of us, uh, myself, Brandon, and Dan. Uh, and really just, you know, I guess just diving in, talking a little bit about the, um, you know, what we've been doing recently. And, you know, yesterday we had one of our quarterly retreats. Dan really works on putting that together and, um, you know, coordinating that. So I think it would just be interesting to kind of share for companies, you know, you know, what is the benefit? You know, how did it come about? You know, why is it important? And maybe we just talk today a little bit about you know, what value is, you know, has brought to us. And if, if you're not currently doing something like that, it might be good to uh, consider. So I guess just to start, and, and then we always get into the, you, you can't make it up, uh, which is always a fun thing to kind of share. Um, so just maybe, I don't know if, if Dan, you want to start with just maybe the, the quarterly meeting and, you know, what it is, and we can just kind of go around the room and talk about, you know, you know, why we do it, where it came from, and maybe why it's beneficial. Yeah, so, you know, we the whole leadership team, you know, gets together. I mean, we meet every week, but each quarter we have, you know, kind of we, we block out a day, we take the day, we try to find some place to go, kind of a change of scenery, um, just to have our quarterly meeting, which is basically like, um, you know, what are some of the things that have that have come up this quarter? We kind of review the last quarter, how some things went, kind of, give our processes and everything like a, a rating of like how it went, you know, areas that where we can improve, we go through each department, you know, find wins areas for improvement there. Um, and just kind of tackle issues that, you know, involve the whole team. So, you know, we have, we have, you know, owners there, management's there, um, guys from the field are there, our mechanic is there, you know, we get perspectives from, from everybody on how we can kind of tackle issues and, and uh, make things even smoother and work better moving into the next quarter. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Brandon, from your perspective, you know, what, a, um, you know, why is it, you know, valuable to yours or, you know, why did, why did we start it? Maybe, you know, it, you know, okay. Look at, you know, either way. So what are, what are some things that um, you, know, you feel beneficial to share? Yeah. <clears throat> Um, so I'd say one thing is like definitely just getting feedback from people at like every level and, you know, everyone's affected differently by different things. So like I've been in a different, a bunch of different companies and environments where, you know, there's always a little bit of conflict between, you know, maybe management or they get frustrated between management and like the field staff, um, you know, in a bunch of different industries, you know, and the restaurant injury industry it was the you know the waitresses and then the people that are cooking in the restaurant so there's always like this a little bit of friction um so i think like one of the biggest things is like just trying to get that cohesive working together and say like hey here's what i'm seeing from this side here's what i'm seeing from that side and you know most people in life go through where they're where they're you know you know if you get to a leadership or management type of position like you've most more often than not, you've, you've, um, you know, you've been on the other side of it. So um, you, you kind of know what it's like a little bit. And I think just trying to trying to get that cohesive bond going, um, getting feedback from those people to make it a better everyday situation. You see all kinds of memes and things on the internet, like, uh, you know, the, the management ruins uh, the business from like the field staff or the frontline workers. So like, you know, I think our objective is, is like we want it to be a great place to work. We want to have a lot of positivity and we want to we want everyone working cohesively together. So getting input, getting feedback, um, you know, and I think a lot of times it's just like alignment and understanding, 
a lot of times when you're on one side of the coin, you don't understand where the other side of the coin is coming from. So like being able to attack and see both sides of the coin, I think is like a huge deal. Um, and it just brings like everybody together. Cause like, you know, a lot of times the other person doesn't know what the other person's dealing with or going through. And they might think, you know, they might think, Oh, how, how hard is it to be out in the field and be, be able to just relax and be like mowing. Um, but there's struggles with that. Right. And then you think of like someone in the office or like, Oh, it must be nice to be fat and happy in the office all day. Right. So like, and then you put, you put people in those other positions and you're like, wow, this is harder than I thought it was. Right. So I think that's the, I think that's the big thing. Um, and it's always funny and, and fun when you get to, you know, sample a little bit of that and just get feedback, you know, growing up and I'm, I'm getting kind of lengthy here, but like growing up, that was like one of the things as a, as a field worker at one point in my life, I was always coming up with ideas on how to improve things, like make my life easier. Right. And you take it to management. And sometimes if you have a good manager, they acknowledge that and they let you do whatever it is that you feel like you need to do. And then you have other managers that don't. And I think I've seen that from that side of it. And that really, for me, has been a big pushing point to, to get the feedback, you know, and, and not only me, but like our whole leadership staff and, and ownership and everything has been like, a lot of times these, you know, people have great ideas and we want to, you know, give them the opportunity to voice it and and implement if, if it makes sense and it works out, which more often than not, we do. So. Yeah, I think that that's, you know, I think it's, it's really good. I think the other thing is just bringing the people together, like you said, to, to, to talk about it. But I think being, I, I know this is a focus that we, we've talked about this year and is really just kind of being honest and open with each other. How many times do we, like in a company, somebody's not doing something <laughs> the, the way that you want it and you just kind of like say to somebody else that they're not doing it the way that you want it. And I think this year, one of the things that we've committed to and, and even on this team and you know, we keep talking about it, hopefully we do it and uh, you know stay true to it, but really just kind of talking about it without like, having the emotions affected and being like, like getting bent out of shape. And I think sometimes we dance around things that need to be said for whatever reason. Um, and I don't know that there's, there's a real thing of, you know, that's not productive in any way. So I think like when you bring a group together, I mean, I can think, you know, and I'll get, I mean, a simple example of this yesterday, you know, in our meeting, um, you know, we brought up, you know, we're just trying to be positivity. And I think like a lot of times, like you have guys that like joke around or whatever in the field. And then sometimes it just might feel like it's a little bit too far with some things that they say. And they're great people. You know, they're great people. They mean really well. But I think yesterday, one of the things as like a leader, I said, you know, here's a one spot that I think we just like take it a little bit too far and it might make somebody uncomfortable. So yeah, I think being able to do that is just a sign that we have great people. And I think even bringing that up, you know, we didn't have any, you know, bad energy from that. You know, we kind of talked about it. I think that's a sign of like a strong team. And, you know, it was, you know, what, you know, I think it was fairly direct, like it was pretty clear, but it wasn't presented in a bad way. So I think the more that we can do those things and embrace like saying it in positive ways, you know, really brings, bring the team together. I think it would be helpful just to kind of, maybe point out what were some of the challenges that were had um, that, you know, why we did this. So the reason of like putting together a, a group like this, I mean, maybe, um, you know, we're just shop people. So, I mean, you can hear the air compressor going on in the background, you know, like well, this is, we, we work, we work this, you know, life, but the idea is like, what, what, could we, what were we seeing of why we did this? And then, so I think it's like, like if you're seeing X, so if you're a business owner or you're in a company and you're seeing these things, the symptoms, right? What are the things that should tell you that you need to do something like this? Cause I think people don't always understand like, um, you know, what they're in now versus what this could do. So what are some of the symptoms or maybe why did we do it? What were we seeing that we knew that we needed to do something different? Maybe Brand, you want to start? 
say that one more time for me. So, you know, for somebody that is listening and they're saying like, what, what were some of the symptoms that we saw that we knew we needed to kind of bring together as a team to, to solve? Um, yeah, there's probably just a little bit of like disconnect here or there. Um, I think like involvement, some of the things we've seen was like, you know, one of the big things we've seen is like, there's a lot, there's, there was a lot being put on, um, just a couple shoulders. Um, and it was a lot, a lot on just a few people. And we just said, you know, Hey, as, as a group, we have a lot of people that are very smart, very intelligent, have a lot of skills, um, you know, that are leaders on our team and like, we can get them involved and they could just take a small sliver of a piece of the pie to help out. And like, um, you know, they, they should be able to help out with a little task here or there and they're very capable. So just trying to get them involved. Um, and not only that, but then that helps to groom them and get them um, set up for like continuing to grow within the company. So um, getting, getting other opportunities, um, which, which is a really good thing. I think that, I think like having the, you know, assessing that it gives a place for people to shine, you know, obviously you just uh, share the weight of, the things that the responsibilities, I think that's a big thing. You know, a lot of times one or two people, you know, hold everything. So like doing that is really good. And I, the thing that always amazes me is the talent in people. I mean, I get really inspired by, you know, seeing people that have talents that you didn't realize you had, but like bringing them out in, in people uh, and giving them an opportunity. And if you never give them an opportunity, they never shine. Right. So that's, that's really <laughs> Um, you know, really, really, really exciting. So, you know, Dan, what for you, what, you know, what problems did it solve or, you know, the reason that we did it? So what were some of the things that we did? I mean, Brandon touched on some of those or, you know, what additionally, what are some things that it, we really benefited by doing this? I mean, a lot of our, a lot of our like processes have been developed or updated through through these meetings i mean like some sometimes solutions to to issues that come up here and there can like come up organically but a lot of times it it takes being very intentional and like sitting down and saying like okay here's here's some things we're gonna discuss for one but not just discuss it's like here's the issue what are the ideas about it what's the actual like next step um, and who's going to do it to actually solve the problem so we can cross it off the list like actually, an example because yeah. i think uh, the other thing i think is always good is like if you have an, a real life example it helps people understand like you know this is this is something that you know we created or solved from this or an employee thing or uh, distributing the weight among the team members like what would be an example maybe from one from each of you that would just kind of give a give a good example yeah so like one thing that came came up out of it was um so i i kind of do uh, reviews employee reviews like each week i just go over like you know how how the week went with with the guys um and some of that information that i kind of need in order to like inform how that's going to go comes from um our starter a guy who basically you know gets the guys going in the morning checks the trailers um and I mean, that process in general came out of the meetings, um, but also just kind of like refining what what the specific information that he gets in the morning that I can then look at. And it you know helps me then do the weekly reviews with the guys has been really helpful. Yeah. What about you, Brandon? Um, one of the first things is, is like, you know, before I'd have to be kind of like at the shop all the time checking in to see where we are on materials, you know, asking guys kind of like randomly here or there, like, Hey, what's this? Can you give me an update on that? What we have material wise. Um, Cause as you know, the size company we are, we go through material pretty quickly. You know, we have mulch bins or maybe it's like, you know, grass seed or other, you know, other supplies and stuff that we have around. And I try to like make sure as like on the operation side, um, you know, managing that, that 
we have all the supplies we need and we can keep our guys running a well oiled machine. We don't want to slow them down. Um, so that, you know, that became kind of like a, a, no, a little bit of a hindrance because, you know, there's a month, million other things that could be doing. So, um, you know, we have, we have, a uh, you know, our shop mechanic, he's there all the time. Um, you know, eats, breeds, sleeves there pretty much. Right. So he's, he's busy. He's there all the time. He's constantly working on something, does a great job for us. And we just said, Hey, he's, he's run, uh, shops before. There's no big deal for him to take inventory every once in a while and just give me an update. Hey, where are we at on this? I can ask him. He has it. And we, we kind of take care of it. So um, pretty, pretty good like scenario for that is that that came out of that. And he's like, hey, I can easily take care of that for you and give you an update. Um, and, it, and it makes like a world of difference because I don't have to pop over there all the time to see what's going on. You know, I can be a, a lot of times I'm on the run. I'm training someone. I'm meeting with customers. Um, I might be doing quality control site visits, whatever it may be. And I can just reach out to him. Hey, what's the update on this? Or he'll automatically send it to me weekly. And that just kind of helps keep me in the know so I can continue. Um, so I can continue to, you know, order materials and just keep our guys flowing like very organically and well. So I think that's kind of like a huge, a pretty, pretty huge deal for me. It's. Yeah, I think that's, that's great. Um, you know, a lot of things can be to, and again, some of the things, and, and I say this a lot, but just, you know, looking at LOS and, and that systems and processes, like if you're really looking to scale up your business, these are some of the things that we, you know, we need to do and, and can be really helpful. So, um, you know, obviously check them out, scan the code. Um, but I just want to switch to the idea of you can't make it up. So we always talk about this great segment. Um, we have actually fun talking about this in our meeting yesterday. You know, we were actually, I mean, we were just rattling off like things, um, you know, you know, all the time. Right. So the idea is like um, there's so many things like you just can't make up. So I don't know if there's anything that, uh, you know, what anything that comes to mind right now. Yeah. I mean, I for one for me is is we have, uh, you know, I, I kind of touched on this with like putting new people in equipment or whatever, but. It usually never fails. Um, sometimes it's new guys. Sometimes this guy's been around for a little bit, but you see the overconfidence factor that comes into play and that people have been doing something and they're like, I'm, I'm the bee's knees on it. Right. Like I'm the best there ever was. So they get overconfident and then they try to do things where they like, they thread the needle on stuff and it's just like completely no reason for it. So I can do think a of a specific example. Cause I think it's like, I think one of the things that makes it like them good, funny, rateable is like when you have a specific, you know, obviously don't, you know, if we know the person, it's not a name, but like right, or you right. see it with somebody else. But like when you can actually like, you know, you kind of laser in on this person did this. It's just like, um, you know, I always say you'll hear me say it many times, like the guy that strapped down the dirt, like um, there's a million things, the toilet plunger. I mean, I have a couple ones that I've used recently. Yeah. But they still make me laugh. Like, I can't believe, you know, the guy forgot the manual for the toilet plunger. I mean, it's just you can't make it up. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So for me, it's just it's a property that we take care of um, on street parking. And there's there's the ability to just continue pulling off the curb and going on a main road. Um, but for some reason, multiple times at the same property, uh, different people. Um, we've had people try to turn down this tight, narrow alleyway. And I'm luckily the first time I wasn't there, the second time, luckily I was there. And I'm just like, out of all the options that we have, why are we choosing to go this way? Like, doesn't make any sense. Like it's trying to, like, it's trying to put like a pig down a narrow hallway that chickens go through. Like, what are we doing? Like there's a, there's a cattle shoot for cows over here and we're trying to go through a chicken coop hole. Like it doesn't make any sense. So yeah, that's my, for me, that's, you can't make it up. I, I just don't, I don't understand. It's just a like, flashing sign that says turn here. Like you, yeah, so, it might be danger, but just turn here. Right. Yeah. So for me on that property, it's going to be on the property map, a big X do not turn down this alleyway. Um, yeah, just because, you know, you can't make it up. It's like people like 
they get overconfident and they want to just like, for some reason they're attract. It's like a bug to a zapping light. Like they're just mm-hmm. attracted to it. Let's go to that. There's danger over there. Getting so. cute with it. We say, yeah. Yeah. Getting what about cute. you? Anything you can think of recently? Yeah. So, well, we're at this, um, you know, one of our larger properties that we have, I was kind of going around just doing some like double checks, just making sure a certain area was, was fully done as we were moving on. Um, and I'm coming back to like the area where the trailers are parked. You know, we got multiple crews there and I, I see a guy like, you know, walking away. He's, he's kind of a newer guy, you know, hasn't been with us real long, still kind of in training, but he's walking away with the string trimmer. Like he's getting ready to like string trim again and the fuel cap is off. It's, clearly empty <laughs> he's just like walking away like oblivious to it so yeah I don't know. you can't make probably, it up it's like what do, you, what do you think is gonna happen <laughs> like, he probably put it down to put fuel and it got distracted and then never put the fuel in it was like yep i took care of that yeah gotta gotta go live from his phone or something right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Walked away without the right. cap. yeah yeah. thanks for tuning in uh again reminder just check out los if you're looking to grow scale your business uh, get processes and improve your your people so you can grow and grow your profits. Check them out. Um, again, <laughs> operating systems with processes and peer groups to learn from the best of the best. Like, share, and subscribe what we have here. Be great to uh, for you to share. And also, don't forget to send us in your you can't make it up. Uh, that's always a good thing that we can share. Again, we're we're compiling things and then we're going to start sharing them and then doing a bracket to see like who advances and hopefully you guys can help us vote on uh, which one is the best and you know we'll have a champion in 2024 uh we'll we'll have some good you know prize or something that we'll come up with for that but uh or send you some gear or something be a lot of fun so send those in we'll you know start that you know once we have enough and we'll go from there so thanks for tuning in we'll see you uh see you soon